Hi, in this video I would like to talk to you about T-Web Open Dialog. The reason for this video is a, a customer question we got in the support center and I'd like to show you how to use the dialog and how to actually select files. Just like in the VCL, TMS Web Core offers the T-Web Open Dialog component which allows you to display a dialog for file selection. However, as we are in the web environment, there's a little bit more to consider than in the VCL. The reason for it is pretty simple. Let's drop another button and this button we're simply gonna caption with execute and we're going to name the button button execute. Now we can with a double click make the implementation and I forgot one more thing let's rename the web open dialog to dialog to make it simple. Just a short introduction to the properties of the T-Web Open Dialog component. The accept property allows you to filter certain type of files using the MIME type. So for example, if you just wanted to display PDF files, you would use the MIME type for PDF or images. For example, image PNG would be the MIME type for PNG images. We don't want to restrict the selection of files. However, we want to even extend the options for selection. We want to offer multi-file selection. So we click true. There are no other properties and this is the first hurdle you have to take. So the dialog for the VCL has way more um, configuration options. The reason for this is that the dialog that is being shown is not a dialog that comes from the operating system. No, in a web application, um, please forgive me the uh, academic informality, the web browser is your operating system that your web application runs in. So the web browser is offering this dialog. So what this dialog is gonna look like depends on your web browser that you use. The Chrome dialog might look different from the dialog that um, Firefox is gonna show. So you really have to limit on the basics and specifying which files to be selected and if it's one or more files is the common denominator here. Special attention to the events because there is an on change event and that is very important because if we go to the implementation, say dialog.execute, we see that execute is a procedure, huh, and not a function because in the VCL, this is a function that returns a model result. So we know if the user clicked okay or if the user clicked cancel and we also had properties like file name and we do have these properties file name and files however calling dialog.execute and then showing the file name that was selected will lead us nowhere because execute shows the dialog and without waiting the show message call is immediately called from the browser so what happens is this you click execute and you see that the show message is already there that is exactly the problem or the issue that you have to deal with when you develop for the web each line is asynchronous or non-blocking meaning the execute does not wait for the user to confirm or cancel the dialogue the only option we have we can implement and this is exactly why the component is designed in this way we can implement the on change event and define a loop variable i or i and now we go from zero to either dialog and of course you could do t web by open dialog and cast the sender parameter of your event dot files dot count because we said we want to have the opportunity to select more than one file and minus one do begin and then we add another component on the form to show the files A simple web memo should suffice and we name the memo memo okay and what should happen memo.lines.add and what do we want to add we want to add the and now we're going to use the direct component name dialog.files i 
and if you see here you have an object instance of a object that describes the file we're not going to go into that and simply say name but you could also display the mime type for example or the modified date stuff like that so name and that's it so this application calls execute to show the dialog and then at the point there is a change in the number of selected files meaning the user has to click OK because if the user clicks cancel the dialog is not gonna change the files that have been selected so this makes sure that this is only executed when files have been selected and in order to select all the files we use a for loop that iterates the files property using the count property to determine the number of files and then we add each file name to the memo let's see how that works i click execute and i can select a couple of files i can even use control to select some of them click open you also see that it is all files because we didn't specify any mime type click open and here's the file names that we selected of course if we click execute and click cancel nothing happens